ピーポピーポピーポピーポケパササパセワデド Welcome to Crime Time News where the difference is in the meds. People, it is becoming quite obvious that the feds, they are putting all the pieces of the puzzle together. They are crossing all the T's, dotting all the I's, connecting all the dots. The lives and careers of several persons, it is becoming unraveled. A lot of these persons are going to be locked up for a very la- long time. Life imprisonment or even more. Now, people, what am I speaking about? I am speaking about an incident that occurred in Fort Lauderdale a couple of weeks ago or a week ago or so, in which it is said that some sorts of DRUGS deal between squash and a couple of people. I am speaking about Muslim and Ford Lord. It is said that in that incident something went wrong. Squash was grazed somewhere on his body in Tekwa himself. He make a couple of calls. The people that he call J Man, Fredman, Rayman, those persons are said to be members of Bad Breed. It is said that the Bad Breed went to get justice for their friend Squash and they went to check a couple of people or check out a couple of people. Muslim Ford Lord. Based on information, it is said that Ford Lord and Muslim were contacted by Bossed, which is run by Ramos. It is said that either they were told, listen, when the boy come with the things, meaning squash, take it away, chase him out, try to take him out. However, as plump as squash is, he avoided getting taken out. Now, people, based on information that was released, court documents by the Paw Paw, the FEDS in America, it is said that they are doing all sorts of intelligence gathering. Based on the information that they got, there are a set of persons who were once friends turned bitter enemy. These people belong to a different subset, meaning six, which is squash, meaning bad breed, which is Fredman, Rayman, Jayman, meaning Bossed, that is run, by a person whose name is Ramos. They even mention that Ramos lives in Atlanta, Georgia. And Fredman, Jayman, and Rayman, they came up from Jamaica. Don't remember if they mention if they are there legally or illegally. However, we know say Squash is there doing music. So pretty much the feds is saying that bad breed Bossed and Six, they were once friends turned bitter enemies, rivals. Six, J-Man, Fredman, Rayman link up together. So pretty much Six and Bossed or Bad Breed link up together, whichever one Fredman, Rayman and J-Man is. And they are going against Ramos. And bad breed are busted people. It is kind of confusing. However, the point is that two of them come together for challenge one. Ramos is trying to get rid of Squash. However, Squash is defended by J-Man, Rayman, and Fredman. People is a whole bunch of information. The feds also said that, listen, we know that... These people have all sorts of history in a Jamaica. These people are known as G-A-N-G bangers. However, people, the question is that, how is it that they managed to get to America? However, people, 
you know from your money, right? You can go to the Bahamas, go to Bahamas, end up at Florida, end up anywhere else. That is the route that all of these gangsters, wanted people, hot people, that create all sorts of chaos and catastrophe. The Fed also gave the feds also gave intricate details of what happened on that day. And this is based on eyewitness. This is based on interviews that they've done with family members, friends, associate links of Muslim Ford Lord. Based on information, it is said that a car pulled up in which was driven, in which J-Man, Fordman, Rayman were allegedly in this car. The car was caught on surveillance camera, CCTV in that apartment. I think the apartment is called Blueberry Hill. Don't quote me. I know that it is in Fort Lauderdale. It is said that the surveillance also caught these people running towards their car, jumping in their car, exiting said apartment complex. It is also said that the Popo was summoned after the neighbors called all sorts of frantic calls to the Popo. Listen, we hear all sorts of rapid pie pie sound like W O R L D W A R 3 R 4, whichever one is now present. It is said that an individual that left in the car that was seen on the surveillance, that person ditched the car, that person took himself or a friend, took him to a hospital in a Tamarack. Tamarack is a stone's throw away from Fort Lauderdale, just up the street. It is said that that person was injured, pick up one or two in the neck. Badly injured, they had to fly him from the place that he went to first, airlift him to a next facility where they pretty much worked on him and saved his life. However, people, it was very important for them to save his life, not only to save his life, but to make sure that they are going to put this puzzle together and people that they did, that they are doing. Now, people, like I told you, the feds are very good at crossing the T's, dotting the I's, connecting the dots. The feds are very good on intelligence gathering, evidence gathering. There is no better place in other world up there with Scotland Yard, the KGB, when the KGB was back in its time. They are the best of the best, like Miami. And it is Fort Lauderdale. So now people, like me say, here's the thing. D-R-U-G-S deal gone wrong. There's also information that Ramos from the bus head that lives in Atlanta might have put out a hit. So therefore, even though there was some sort of D-R-U-G-S deal, it could have been both. However, it is said to have been a setup. It is said that J-Man, Ray-Man, Fred-Man were the ones that went for the reprisal because, like me say, based on information squash, take away himself, run from the scene, make two call, two call at him, hit his them. Now, people, when that incident occurred and Muslim lost his life, people were saying that Muslim is a party man. Muslim is a flosser. However, based on the information from the feds, the feds are now saying that, listen, Muslim is a hired hitman that was sent by Ramos, Ramos from the Bossed. So therefore, he was given instruction for either rob and take a squash. However, based on the information, it is said that Squash got robbed. He also got grazed. Now, people, in a video that I did previous to this one, I told you, I have seen Squash done several interviews. 
as it pertains to his career, his musical career. However, it seems as if his music and his badness always intertwines. People always have to ask, why is your name being mentioned in so many criminal activity? And we understand that, yes, him have a brother we lose him life. Yes, him have a brother that was bad. And we cannot tie both. However, when your name is being called up on hundreds, on many, many things, as it pertains to the six, as it pertains to scamming, as it pertains to G-A-N-G activity in a Montego Bay, you must be involved in something wherever there is smoke. There is F-I-R-E on people. Obviously, with Sister Squash, he lives in the state of Florida. However, he lives mostly in the state of denial. He is what we call a compulsive liar. He is what we call a psychopath that do things and then act as if they are victims. Because remember, after that incident, he did a live, he did an interview, he made a post on social media. And he claims that the bloggers them need to stop calling up him name. The bloggers them need to stop mixing him up because all he is there doing is music. Him no know nothing about nothing. He is oblivious. His mind is blank as it pertains to what is going on with Bossed, what is going on with Bad Breed. What is going on with the six? The six is just a group of musicians that are just doing music. Now, people, here's the thing. There's a saying in a Jamaica that goes something like this. He that exalted himself shall be a beast, meaning a beat. Whenever planting one D-E-A-D, -E it shoots. And the reason for me saying this is that... We've seen countless videos of Squash, J-Man, Bad Breed, his combolos with tools in our Florida. Now, people, I am not going to say that the tools are hot. However, if you are hot, if you are a convicted felon, even if the tool is not stolen, the tool was bought, you should have no access to that tool. You should not be posing and parading with that tool. However, people, the feds maybe never had the information that it had before. However, you can best believe that now that they are enlightened, now that them say we really are gone, you can expect them to get back those same files even if they are deleted. Because, people, this is the difference between you and I. Whenever you and I delete anything off social media, the feds can contact Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, whoever, and get back those files, whether they were deleted by you or not. So therefore, me just I make you know. So I say this to say that you can expect to see those same videos being used against them because people like the saying goes be very careful what you say or do because it can be used against you in a court of law and most importantly that is exactly what the feds did when they got information about Jayman. they went on his social media handle i think twitter don't quote me and they found out who exactly he is they did the same thing to squash. Remember, this is intelligence at its best form. We are speaking about the FEDS. We are talking about the poor poor in America. They just want a little hint. Them just want to have an idea. And people don't think that these people don't watch bloggers like myself and other bloggers from Jamaica. They go through everything on social media. So whenever them sissy squash a trend, J-man a trend, they have a team of people. That is all they do. The feds will spend $1 billion to recover $1. So therefore, if them see a problem in the making, if them see a set of people 
gang members that Jamaica can't come. Jamaica is like the third or fifth worst place on planet Earth when it comes to G A N G S M U R D E R S, Rete, Lele, Blue, Blah, Bling. You think that they are going to allow these people for going to them place and infiltrate, infest it, corrupt it, and turn it like how them turn Jamaica out, people. Two different kettle of fish, America and Jamaica. America people, them work, them do investigation. They get to the B-O-T-T-O-M of everything. There is no stones that is going to be left unturned. So people, when you see Squash did that video post on social media, it is what we call a lame attempt of damage control. Because people, guess what? The damage has already been done. The only thing that is going to happen, they are doing their due diligence. They are making sure that they have everything signed and sealed. So therefore, Squash can expect that visa work permit that he has. So I just I say, even if Squash is married and he has a pending green card in the making, all of that is going to mean nothing. Because when we talk about the charges in which J-Man was officially charged with double takeaway, premeditated, that is life in the big yard in America. Them now play with that. If you just dispense some sorts of pie pie, you could get up to 20 years. So just imagine when you amp it up, talk about a D-R-U-G-S deal gone bad and then a reprisal for a D-R-U-G-S deal. And then two people lose them life. And people, here is where it is very funny. It is said that J-Man is now claiming that it was self-defense. Same God eh? and the people eh, start upon him. However, people, here's the thing. You have a thing that is called forensic science. You have a thing that is called evidence gathering. You have a thing that is called swabbing the hand. You have a thing that is called... The impact, the reenactment of a crime scene where they go over the body and based on information that I got, it is said that both of these persons, Ford and Muscle, both of them got multiple rounds. Most of those rounds was when they were hit and then somebody come over them with a high-powered rifle or a couple of high-powered rifles and start to claw them while they're upon the ground. People, all of that is going to be in evidence. So therefore, when you come with any sorts of self-defense, you cannot go on any sorts of reprisal for any sorts of D-R-U-G-S deal gone wrong. That shows premeditated right there. That shows a motive. You cannot use a wrong and then in furtherance of a worse or wrong and, 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 and claim that you are going to defend yourself. That is your defense. That is no sort of defense. So people, me just say, they can get the best, wisest lawyer. They can get the dumbest, the most fool fool s lawyer. The result are going to be the same. Their ghost is going to be cooked. This case is going to be signed and sealed. Only divine intervention can help. Squash, J-Man, Fredman, Rayman, or anybody else, the boss said, may I talk about Ramos. Because people, these people do them homework. These people do their investigation. And they will get to the bottom of everything. And everybody are going to get marks out. They are going to send a statement. They are going to send a message out there to the rest of gang bangers in a Jamaica that feel say them can run left Jamaica and run go America. It is a safe haven. People, it is not. Trust me. So people, when J-Man feel as if him blaze up the people, him jumping in him car, take for himself, end up at the place and recover the hospital in a Tamarack. And feel like say, when the feds them come and ask him, do you know anything about that incident down the road? And him said, no, me no know. 
they are not going to take anything just by face value or because of what you say and because of the fact that you are injured. No, they are patient. They are going to wait. They are going to do everything within their means. They are going to spend the money. They are going to get the best doctors to fix you up because they are going to need you. They are going to need you to testify upon squash and the rest of them and tell all you know. At the end of the day, you are still going to get a couple of decades if you're lucky, if you decide to cooperate. However, everybody is going down. The whole ship is going to sink. Because remember, these people, them swab the hand of muscle man and realize that, all right, this tool used for calling up J-Man, them swab the hand of J-Man and realize that, him did a bust some sorts at all. So people, them put two and two together and them get four. And more than likely, these people are going to get four, four. Me not talk about the Magnum. Me not talk about 44 years, a couple of decades in the big yard in America. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos straight to the point, no sorts of beating around the bush, show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. That is the way that YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself and people most importantly. Whenever you are striving in life, there are always going to be a set of vipers because they see your potential. They realize that your ceiling is in the stratosphere. When they look at themselves, because of their insecurity and even worse, because of the hate within their heart, they realize that their ceiling is in the cellar, in the abyss of hell. So therefore, for them to feel as if they are up, they are going to do everything within their means to bring you down, point blank and period.